Today on Trisha. Did her fiance get her sister pregnant? I need to know if my fiance Brian is the father to my sister's son, Emerald. Have you had sex with Martina's sister, Heather? Yes. Oh. Get that out of there now! Heather claims innocence. Yeah. So full of You've oh. done it before. But she's not exactly playing coy. He was trying to get me to put fries on his. What? <gasps> DNA and a lie detector will reveal if he's keeping it all in the family. Have you had sex with Martina's boyfriend, Brian? The polygraph determined that Heather... <laughs> Annette wants her brother to get a divorce. I know Ebony been cheating. Most recently, I heard that Ebony was messing with a pastor from the church. A pastor? <laughs> I'm tired of my brother being with you. <laughs> Today, the lie detector proves if the rumors are true. Are you making up lies to sabotage your brother's relationship with Ebony? Polygraph determined that Annette. <laughs> Last year, when we met Greg, he had some unusual ambitions. I want to have 27 kids with nine different girls. I want them to have three each, different races. He's back. You've right got a daughter seat. now? Yes, yes ma'am. So are there another 26 on the way? Or? <laughs> Now Greg suspects Nicole is cheating. Just how she's acting kind of makes me suspicious. This lie detector test could make them or break them. The night Greg was in the recording studio, did you have sexual contact with anyone? The polygraph determined that Nicole... <laughs> it's all today on Trisha. Tina and her mother Donna. They are here today to uncover a truth that could tear their family apart. You see, they've heard rumors that Martina's fiance, Brian, has been cheating with the one person Martina thought she could trust, her own sister, Heather. Ooh. Yeah, and to make matters worse, Martina suspects Brian secretly fathered Heather's three-month-old son, Imara. Ooh. So, here's Martina's story. I need to know if my fiance, Brian, is the father to my sister's son, Emerald. My sister, Heather, is constantly telling me that Brian is always hitting on her, and I do not want to believe it. I didn't really think that Heather and Brian were sleeping together until Brian's ex wrote me on Facebook. She said that Brian and Heather were sleeping together and that Brian admitted that Emerald was his. Heather's son, Emerald, has blue eyes that matches Brian's. He is tall and skinny, just like Brian. I really hope that he is not Brian's kid. If the DNA test comes back that Brian is Emerald's father, then that is just way too much for me to take. Then I'd have to look at my nephew and say, oh look, that is my son's brother. I cannot live like that. That will break my heart. Now, Martina's sister, Heather, and Martina's fiancé, Brian, have agreed to take a lie detector and a DNA test to prove their innocence. We'll reveal those results in a moment. But first, Martina, what a situation to be in. Yeah. You used to be really close with your sister? Yeah. Now, what's it like now? Heartache, Nightmare. crazy. As their mum, as mum to both of these girls, what are you seeing between the two of them now? Are they fighting? They fight all the time. Do you believe that your sister and your fiancé are having sex? I believe that he is. Who do you think came on to who? Do you, do you think your daughter Heather is doing anything inappropriate that would, I don't know, turn him on, yep. push his buttons? Like yep. what? She's come out of the bathroom completely with a towel and drop it naked and just fall oh! in front of him? In front of him, yes. Really? Has she ever told you? Has your sister Heather ever told you that Brian's come on to her? She told me they went to mm -hmm. and that Brian was hitting on her. He was trying to get her to eat fries off of his crotch. Oh! She told you that? Yes. What she... makes you think that your sister's little boy has been fathered by Brian? That, wow. He looks just like Brian. And blue eyes, he's tall, skinny. He has, like, the cheeks just like Brian, everything. And have you said anything to Heather, your sister? Have you ever said? Is... I've asked her, but they keep denying it. Can I ask you why you and Brian haven't had sex in two years? We had sex and everything, and then I got pregnant when I was 16. Right. Uh, I had to go to my first doctor's appointment in 2011, February 15th. Yeah. 
and they had to check me and do all their stuff that they had to do. Mm -hmm. And I got my results back and he gave me an STD. What are you going to do? I don't know what the lie detector results will say. I if don't know what... He, if this test comes back that he's cheating on me, or if Emerald is his, I am done. I am not dealing with this <laughs> no more. Well, I think it's time to hear how your sister Heather feels about these shocking accusations. So, uh, let's meet Heather. <laughs> Are you sleeping with your sister's fiancé? No, she's dumb for thinking that. Yeah, but you've done it before. No, you yeah. are so full of Martina. Whether we was not together or not, you've done it before. You guys are the ones that talked me into dating that boy. Okay, yeah, yeah. totally. He asked you to eat french fries off his crotch. How'd that conversation come No, up? it was like he was trying to get me to put fries on his What? Yes, on our way to go get DNA done on my son. Do you spend a lot of time together, just you and Brian? Not specifically alone, no. No. Okay, so you think your sister's mad for even thinking that something's going on between you and Brian? She's dumb for thinking it. No. You've done it before, so you, why wouldn't you do it again? Do you think your sister flirts with Brian? All the time. Yeah, I can what do you, What do you call flirting? What kind of things does she do? Isn't the towel and coming out naked enough? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not flirting, that is my personality. Oh. Everybody. So these fights between you two, they do they get physical? Yes, I've actually they... hit her before. Yes, she has. You've hit your sister, why? Ah, oh, because she gets on my nerves about Brian. Oh, what do you think about Brian? Do you like him? Oh, I hate Brian with a passion and he knows it. Why? Because he's a lying, conniving scumbag that is a cheating ass whore. Uh, oh, what did he cheat on you? Or? Oh, he didn't cheat on me. Him. Do you think he is cheating? He is cheating he has, on my yes, sister. He has cheated what? on Martina before. Oh. Yeah. I can't understand why you're still with him. Oh, please answer that for us. He oh. says it's because she loves him and he's the father of her daughter, her son. Yeah. So now, what is what is this doing to your mom's health? All of this fighting. This is killing it's my not mother. Not so why don't you stop? I've tried to get it to stop. Do you think things would be better if Brian was out of the house? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Now, who, ru who runs your household, would you say, Donna? Heather. Heather tries to. Oh, Heather. <laughs> yep. You, you admit it? Yep. You're a bully? I run it. I put my foot down, yes, because everybody likes to try to walk over her, walk all over her, and I'm not allowing it. Walk over, what, your mom? Yes, walk all over her. A lot of people do it to her, and I put my foot down and say, hell no, it's not happening. Okay. Now, Donna, you're stuck between your two daughters. What do you do about this? If this stuff comes back that Emerald is Heather's, she will take Bentley and move away. Really? Yes. Wow. So that's, you, you would move out of the house? Yes, just to get... Why my mind you, cleared. But why wouldn't you get Brian out of the house and you stay? Oh, yeah. I gotta He's look out. at her if it's true. He will be out. And then look at my son and my nephew and... And their brothers. Their brothers. Wow. How am I supposed to deal with that? Okay, well, when well, we come back... to deal with it because it ain't Brian's baby. Well, we'll find out. When we come back, Martina's <laughs> fiancé, Brian, tells us his side of the story. And we'll also reveal the results of Brian and Heather's lie detector tests. And the DNA test, too, so stay tuned. <laughs> Next. Have you had sex with Martina's boyfriend, Brian? The polygraph determined that Heather... <laughs> Later, Annette wants her brother to get a divorce. I know, Ebony been cheating. I'm tired of my brother being with you. <laughs> Secrets will be revealed. Get the heat out of now! Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, uh, we just heard 
Catherine Martina, who's accusing her own sister, Heather, of sleeping with her fiancé, Brian, and secretly having his baby. Now, Martina wants to know if her two-year-old son, Bentley, and Heather's three-month-old son, Immoral, are cousins or are they brothers? Now, to make matters worse, they live with their mom, Donna, who says that constant fighting is literally killing her. So, Brian is ready to face his accusers, but first, let's hear his side of the story. There are rumors going around that I am sleeping with my fiance Martina's sister, Heather, and that I am the father of Heather's newborn baby. I love Martina with all my heart, and I would like to marry her. Martina won't marry me until she finds out if I'm sleeping with her sister. I am here so the truth can come out and I can save my family. Well, with that said, Brian took a lie detector test and a DNA test to prove he never touched his fiance sister. Let's welcome Brian. Hi, Brian. So let me ask you outright. Um, have you had sex with, Marti uh, with Martina's sister, Heather? Yes. Oh! You better get that out of your damn mind. Whoa. Seriously? What, once, twice? A few times. Yeah, right, buddy. Wow, so now we don't know who's telling the truth and who's lying. My lie detector test is going to come back that I did not lie. I never slept with Brian, so get it out of your damn head. Now, you talk, you're talking about saving your relationship? You talked there on the tape about getting married. Is that what you want to do? Yes, ma'am. And she'd marry you, why? Why? Because I hope she loves me. There have been a few times that he'll be like... Two. Rub it on me and I'll tell him. Try Don't to kiss her, touch. grab her Hang on, just a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. You? Yeah. Rubbing on your leg? Yeah. Trying to kiss you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is the matter with you? Really? Yes. Well, look, as you know, both Brian and Heather have taken lie detector tests along with a DNA test. So first, Let's see what the lie detector test has to say. And to help us is our polygraph administrator, Tim Acosta. <laughs> OK, so Heather, we asked you, do you want the truth to come out today? Yes. You said yes. Tim. The polygraph determined that Heather was being truthful. OK. Yeah. We asked her, when Brian is in the shower, do you go in there to see him naked? You said no. The polygraph determined that Heather was being truthful. Thank you! <laughs> we asked, has Brian ever tried to come on to you? You said yes. Tim. The polygraph determined that Heather was being truthful. Thank you, Mary! Right. Booyah! <laughs> we asked you, have you ever tried to come on to Brian? You That's said lot. no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Heather was not being truthful. We ask you, have you had sex with Martina's boyfriend, Brian? No. You, you said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that Heather was not being truthful. <laughs> saying, yay, 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 when you... Did you want the truth to come out today? You got the... Did you go in the shower to see him naked? Oh, lie detector's working there. Has Brian ever tried to come on to you? You said yes, you were telling the truth. Lie detector's still working. All of a sudden, have you tried to come on to Brian and it proves that you, you're lying and, oh, lie detector machine yeah. suddenly broken. Right. We asked... That is a is lie. Is Brian... Yeah. Is Brian... Hang on. Is Brian the father of your son, Emerald? No. You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Heather was not being truthful. Oh, Let's ask him. Sit down, because here's a way to sort this out. We will now come to, uh, to uh, Brian's lie detector results and see if they match up, then we know what's going on. OK, so we asked Brian, do you want the truth to come out today? You said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Brian was being truthful. <laughs> right. We asked Brian,
Ryan, have you ever tried to come on to Heather? Oh, you said yes. You have. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brian was being truthful. Wow. We asked Brian. Still working, isn't it? Have you seen Heather naked? Brian said yes. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brian was being truthful. Wow. Right. So it's all working really well. So have you had well, sex? Of course you've got to see me naked. Have I'm not naked. You had sex with Martina's sister Heather. You said yes, and you made an admission, Tim. Brian admitted that he has had sex at least three to four times at least eight or nine months ago. He answered yes to that question. The polygraph determined that he was being truthful. Oh, that is a lie. We asked. We asked. We asked, other than what you admitted to, have you had sex with any other woman since being in a relationship with Martina? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brian was not being truthful. Oh. One more. Just remember your mum's health and your. I'm okay. Here. We asked, okay. do you think you Come are on. the father of Heather's son, Emerald? You said yes. Okay. Tim. The polygraph determined that Brian was being truthful. Here's the difference. Sometimes we all do what we need to do to get our needs met, and it seems to me so far. What you've done to get your needs met is to bully people, and it's not working here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's come to right, the DNA. Give me the DNA. I know damn what here, my okay. baby daddy. Do you want to open it? I will. Oh. Well, I don't know what it says, so excuse me if I stand behind you. It's not the father. Now what? Hmm. You're relieved because you had sex with Brian eight no. or nine months ago, and it turns out that your son isn't his. No, because I knew who my baby daddy is. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about and the sex. And I knew sex. who I've been having sex with for over a past year now. So, yeah. Cool. And he knows too. Yes, and he, if he's got half a brain, he knows that you're, he's not the only person you've been having oh, sex yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> so, will Brian be coming back to stay with you in your house? No. Okay, we'll be right back. Next. Annette wants her brother to get a divorce. I know. Ebony been cheating. <laughs> I'm tired of my brother being with you. Later. Last year, when we met Greg, he had some unusual ambitions. I want to have 27 kids with nine different girls. I want them to have three each, different races. He's back. You've right got a now. daughter now? Yes, ma'am. So are there another 26 on the way? Will be revealed Get the out of there! today on Trisha. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, with the holidays approaching, today is about bringing together families who are at war. With that in mind, welcome Ebony. <laughs> now, uh, Ebony says her marriage has been destroyed. Her husband, Jack, no longer trusts her, and it's all because of her meddling sister-in-law, Annette, who wants her out of the picture. Now, Ebony says Annette has been poisoning Jack's mind with vicious lies and nasty rumours about her sleeping with other men. But before we hear from Ebony, listen to why Annette says when it comes to her family, Ebony is playing with fire. I'm here today to prove to my brother that his wife is nothing but a low-down, dirty cheater. I know Ebony been cheating on Jack because I used to see countless guys coming in and out of her house. And I tried to tell my brother, but he don't want to listen. Most recently, I heard that Ebony was messing with the pastor from the church. Ebony has no morals to be messing with the man of God. I know Ebony's going to fail this lie detector test. And I'll finally have her gone out of my brother's life. 
Well, both Ebony and Annette have agreed to take a lie detector test, and we'll reveal those results in a moment. But first, Ebony, you're laughing. Yes. What, what's making you laugh about what you just saw? A pasta. <laughs> hey, come on. Not true? Not at all. So do you think it's his, it's his sister behind all of this? It's his family. His family? They don't like you? No. So what is he accusing you of doing? I supposedly had sex with two of his friends. The pastor now, and I heard. Oh, that's a new one. On yes, you. I never heard that one since oh. just now. So, have you ever cheated on him? Yes, before oh. we got married. Right. I did. I went out. I had fun with my friends. The next day, my friend called me and told me that a, such a, a certain person did oral sex to me. You knew that happened, right? No. Did you tell Jack about that? Yes. And so he obviously forgave you. That's why you got married. Yes. Okay. <laughs> since you've been married. Have you cheated on him? No, I haven't. Has this affected your love life? You and it, what? Yes, it has. We really don't have sex because I feel if he don't trust me, why have sex with him? Yeah. So I just... So what are you hoping will come out of today? Once the lie detector come out, I hope he have more faith and trust me. Right. sister-in-law Annette has been listening backstage and she's ready to tell Ebony exactly why she thinks she's a cheater. So let's hear it. Come on out, Annette. She's sitting there lying. You need to stop lying. You need to stop lying. You know doggone well that you a cheater. Once oh. a cheater, always a cheater. And that's how it is. I'm tired of my brother being with you. You take advantage of him. When you say, when you say that she takes advantage of your brother, how? In every That's way. What I want to he know. cooks, he cleans, he takes care of her kids. So what you doing, sit right there, because you have the right to remain solid, baby. <laughs> so she gonna so, learn the day. Hang on. What have you seen, really? What is the hard evidence you have that your sister-in-law has been cheating? Oh, well, my I, I don't have to have hard evidence. I'm talking to my brother, and my brother shared personal things with me. What right? about this pasta you're talking about? Yes. Oh. Yes, Ooh. please bring that well, up. Yeah. Baby. Yes. Baby, I heard that from my brother. He ain't no liar. You don't approve of anything no. that she does? No, because I don't like her, because I know how my brother is. He is... Very, he's a very caring person. Well, and it seemed like ever since he got with her, he just been distanced from the family. Let me just ask you, what happens? I don't know what the lie detector says, Annette, but mm. what if happens if it comes back that, say, Ebony hasn't cheated? Then what? Oh, in my eyes, she always a cheater. <laughs> Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll meet Ebony's husband, Jack, and reveal the results of both Ebony and Annette's lie detector test. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next. Are you making up lies to sabotage your brother's relationship with Ebony? Polygraph determined that Annette... <laughs> Later... Last year, when we met Greg, he had some unusual ambitions. I want to have 27 kids with nine different girls. I want them to have three each, different races. He's back. You've right got a myself. daughter now? Yes, yes ma'am. So are there another 26 on the way? <laughs> Get off my stage! <laughs> Secrets will be revealed. Get the heat out of me! Today on Trisha. We've been speaking with Ebony and her sister-in-law, Annette, who are at war. Now, Annette is accusing Ebony of cheating on her brother, Jack, with what, one guy, two guy, lots of men, Ten, women. 10, 20 women. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> really? Who knows? Who knows? Really? And, and, the, and the church that pastors. That got a pass, well. Yes. Baby. Wow. Pastor, now, Ebony yes. claims that Annette is filling her husband's head with poisonous lies and accusations <laughs> in the hopes that he'll divorce her. Now, both women have agreed to take a lie detector test, but first, let's hear what Jack, the man in the middle, has to say. Watch this. I'm here today because I'm stuck between my sister Annette and my wife Ebony. Annette heard through people from the neighborhood that Ebony had a reputation. I know Ebony cheated on me before we got married, but I need to know if Ebony cheated on me after we said I do. Ebony doesn't have a good relationship with my family because everybody feels that she's a cheater. I love my wife with all my heart. But the only reason why I believe she's with me is because I have a steady income. I help Ebony with the kids. I help Ebony with the bills. Whatever she needs, I got it. If she fails this test, I'm leaving. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Please welcome Jack. The demons going to be exercised today. Woo. Let's get these demons together. 
Wow, Lady Jack, no. I've given you the seat in the middle. That seems where you are. I've always been a monkey in the middle. This has been going on for a long while. Yes. It's now, been going on for too long. Do you think that Ebony has cheated on you? Many a times. Did you think that she cheated on you before your sister brought this to your attention? It's been since day one when I met her. This pastor, how do you, do you have evidence of her cheating with some pastor from the... No, no I don't. But so, there was a situation that dealt with a church. Listen, That's not what was said. This it's is that I, I this had... Is, this is how a, rumors start. You say it's something to do with your, the church. Correct your sister it. says, oh, you laid down with the pastor and it just... Thank you. So speed. where did that come from? Do you yeah. tell all your business to your sister? I don't, hey, tell, bro, I don't, I don't, tell, tell, I don't tell my sister everything. everything. I talk to my sister when my wife shuts down on me, and I don't, I don't deal with everybody what in the street. What sort of things do you talk to her about? Personal things that she's supposed to be able to talk to me about. Relationships. About the relationship that I'm supposed to have with my wife. Usually when I get people on this show saying that they really believe somebody's cheating, it's because they found a used condom, they saw her getting out of a car with a man, they saw her kissing a man. What, what hard evidence do you have? Well, you put everybody else None before of me. Hang on. When you put everybody else before me like I don't matter and you continue to take up for them every time I'm telling you to stay away from these type of people, then evidently something is more is happening than what you're telling me. Do you love her? I love her to death with all my heart. Do you trust her? Well, or, no, I don't. What are you going to do if the lie detector comes back and says that... I have no other choice but to pack up and leave. And I'm what gone. if she's been telling the truth? If she's telling the truth, then I have to change my ways. I have to think... Now... And both Ebony and Annette took a lie detector test, and here to reveal the results is our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. So, yeah. Tim, are you ready? Yeah. So, Annette, I'm just reading from here. I'll okay. read the question that was asked. Mm -hmm. The answer you gave, Tim, will tell us whether you were telling the truth or not. Okay. We asked you, do you want the truth to come out today? You yeah. said yes. Tim. The polygraph determined that Annette was being truthful. We asked, are you making up lies to sabotage your brother's relationship with Ebony? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Annette was being truthful. We asked Annette, do you know for a fact Ebony has cheated on Jack since they have been married? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Annette was being truthful. So, in a nutshell, you have no hard evidence whatsoever, no. which brings us to Ebony's lie detector results. Okay. <laughs> we asked Ebony, do you want the truth to come out today? You said yes. Tim. The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. Ah. We asked, did you have any sexual contact with Jack's friend while Jack was on the church retreat? You said no. The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Let's find a hard Did you have any sexual contact with anyone other than Jack when you lived in Utica? You said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. Yeah. Uh, uh, one last one. Uh, one last question. Uh, I'm done. I told you I came up here, so I'm done. No, let's hear this last one. Let's hear the last one. Mm -hmm. Have you had sex with anyone other than Jack since you have been married? She said no. Tim. The polygraph determined that Ebony was being truthful. Yeah. Oh, wow. You don't have to like her. I don't, I, I, and I know that. Yeah, know but you that. need to be you know civil. You know the most? And this one is hurt right here, and I have to pay more attention to this. Hey! Because this is what matters. Yeah, that's this is what matters. So it's just about you two. Keep it between you two, all right? Thank you. Okay, sweetheart. Thank you right. so much. We'll be right back. <laughs> Next. Last year, when we met Greg, he had some unusual ambitions. I want to have 27 kids with nine different girls. I want them to have three each, different races. He's back. You've right. got a daughter now? Yes, yes ma'am. So are there another 26 on the way? <laughs>
will be revealed. Get the heat out of there! Today on Trisha. Last year, we met a pregnant woman named Nicole who came here to find out if the father of her unborn baby, Greg, was cheating on her. Now, during that show, Greg made the shocking revelation that he wanted to end racism. And here's how. He wanted to have 27 kids with nine women of different ethnicities. Now, Greg was one of the most controversial guests we have ever met. Watch this. Nicole actually said she's not allowed out with you. She's not allowed to go nowhere and stuff without my permission. My husband and I, we've been together, what, 16 years? I'm here, he's not here, I'm allowed out on my own. You probably cheated on your husband. I'm making sure it's not happening. Sorry? I said you might have cheated on your no, husband. No, I might not have cheated on my husband. Is it true that girls have sent pictures of themselves naked to you? Yeah, they have. And is it true that you have sent pictures of your private parts to girls? Yeah, promotion, though. Promotion. <laughs> I want to have 27 kids with nine different girls. I want them to have three each, different races. Now, there was another person involved in this story, a woman named Saudi, and Greg revealed a secret about her that would cause an explosion of emotion. I have been cheating on you with Saudi, and, and I was thinking about marrying her. This way. Do you love Greg? I do. Do you want to be with him? I do. Do you want to get married to him? True. You do? Do you want to have children with him? Yes. Uh, have you started thinking about having a family? Yes. And you can go for your hair. I'm straight. I raised this baby by myself. Now, after those fireworks, I had a moment with Greg backstage for some straight talk, one on one. If you come out here and say, you know what, I've worked with kids in my spare time, I've volunteered to work with problem kids for the last two years, and this is what I want to do, you would have got a whole lot more respect. If that's what you want to do, why don't you go and work with a whole bunch of kids and get qualified? So you can come back and say, yeah, I've been there, I've done it, I know what it feels like. Because otherwise, what's going to happen? You might have these 27 kids, if there are nine women out there stupid enough to have them, and they end up in care or something. And I have seen enough kids go through the care system to know that it makes me very angry when people are irresponsible with their sperm. So, what happened since the show? Well, Greg is back. And he's not alone. But who is he with today? Let's find out. Come on out, Greg. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Greg! Yeah. 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 you, Miss Trisha. For me? Yes, I'd just like to thank you for helping me out a lot and everybody you ever helped. You know what I'm saying? Your show touched a lot of people and you deserve that right there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a seat. Hi, Nicole. Have... Wow. Wow, thank you. So, what's going on now? The no. 27 kids, the no, nine no, women, no, 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 what's no, happening no, now? Can none I just of that no more, you know what I'm saying? No? Me and my girl, we're doing good now, you know what I'm saying? We're real He's good, you know, real happy. Change. Uh, changed. He's changed, he has changed so Had much. Had my daughter, my beautiful daughter. You right got a daughter now? Yes, yes ma'am. So, are there another 26 on the way? Or? No, no, not 26, <laughs> only this one. Ooh! That's my baby right there. Wow. I love that so, so tell me about what happened to that whole idea of changing the world through having all these kids. What? Just watching myself on your show, to be honest, seeing how I was acting, actually seeing myself on TV. Like, right after I left, <laughs> I, I was kind of still on the same thing. Like, I thought you were just being kind of mean and hard on me and just didn't believe in my dream and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, after watching myself, seeing how ridiculous I looked, and then when my daughter was born... <laughs> Now, you're here for an entirely different reason this yes. time. I mean, as well as we wanted to find out what yes. was going on with you. You were the one who was cheating last time. Yes. To be honest, you know, everything has been good. I've been good on my end, but just yeah. how she's acting kind of makes me suspicious. Why? Well, like, how can she explain the quietness in the background when she calls me, like, when I'm at the studio, and she calls me from a restricted number? The house and... phone number says restricted automatically. But look and at he... this. <laughs> All right, go ahead. But look, Trisha, like, our house is crazy. We got a lot of dogs. 
a lot of people. It's a crazy house. And <laughs> right. When she calls, it's silent in the background. Like, what happened to so the, you all now, the dogs? They're not going to be barking at you if you're on the phone. They're like, oh, Greg on the phone. Let us be quiet. Hold the barks back. I'm like, nah. You don't on, believe man. that. Rochelle, your sister Rochelle's in there. What do you think? Honestly, I just want everything to be okay and for all the suspicion to go away so we can move forward. We've been doing so well this past year and I want it to continue. So it's just the suspicion? Just the suspicion. Yes. Yeah. So what, you're talking about um, Nick, uh, Nicole ringing his phone all the time? Yes, because it's not just her calling him. She'll call mom and if mom doesn't Everybody. answer, she'll call me. Everybody. And it well, has... I mean, but all that stuff that happened to me in the past, I mean, you know what your brother did. So, you know, it's going to be in my head, you know, I'm going to have my insecurities because of that reason. And it's not my fault. That's you know? very true. But at the same time, I'm not going to cheat, you know, two wrongs don't make a good. So I'm not going to cheat, you know what I mean? And make things even worse. I don't, you know, I wouldn't well, cheat on him. That's I love true. Him. That's understandable. But at the same time, if you continue the path that you're going down, you're going to force him to walk away from you. And you're going to force him to go back to being the person that he was. And he doesn't want to do that. He what? wants to be on the straight and narrow. Wait a minute. He's going to walk away from me when I stayed with him after he did all that to me? No, I'm saying because he's oh. showing you that he's changing. He went and got a job. He's coming home. That's he perfect, but he still did what he did, and I'm still going to have my insecurities. Okay, so I'm very proud of him, and I'm staying with him. But so you know. you, now, you, so you're staying. You've stayed with him through all of this, but yes. you now have suspicions. Yes. All right. So you had uh, Nicole take a lie detector test, yes, and when we come back, we will reveal the lie detector results and see if happily ever after is in store for this couple. Next. The night Greg was in the recording studio, did you have sexual contact with anyone? The polygraph determined that Nicole... <laughs> you are the cop. Get off my stage. <laughs> Secrets will be revealed. Get that out of there! today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, we've been talking to Greg and Nicole. Last year, Greg was exposed as a serial cheater who wanted <laughs> to end racism <laughs> by... I, well, you know, I feel stupid even saying this, never mind that you said it in the first place. He wanted to have 27 babies with nine oh. women of different ethnicities. Oh, well, my. Today they're back because Greg has changed. He's a one-woman man, he says, who now believes Nicole is the one cheating on him. Here with Nicole's lie detector results is our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. Tim, <laughs> I am ready. Now, here's how it goes. I just read from this and Tim tells us whether you were telling the truth or not. So here's what we asked Nicole. The night Greg was in the recording studio and had a show, did you have sexual contact with anyone? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Nicole was being truthful. Ooh. We asked Nicole, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Greg since you've been together? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Nicole was being truthful. Go. Can, I, can I do something real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, you passed the lie detector test. I wanted to ask you if you were married to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one hurt. Oh, oh, man, I'm the happiest man ever right now. <laughs> yeah? So. Good luck. Thank Good you so luck. much. Good luck. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I want to ask people watching something. Maybe you've got someone in your family, like Greg, who, mm. who is driving your family nuts. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're not now, but you were. Yeah. Now, if you can understand where I'm coming from when I say that, call us at The Trisha Show at one eight five five four trisha We're going to take a break. We'll be back. will be revealed Get the out of there! today on Trisha.
I want to thank you for watching and remember there will be more truth tomorrow. See you then.